I thought today perhaps you'd enjoy joining me as I do some testing and taking results and doing a bit of maths on the old whiteboard. I thought I would start with using the anemometer, getting the airspeed out from the heater. That lets us calculate the cubic mass of air that's going through the heater and then taking a temperature reading of, well, the inlet temperature, which is ambient, and the output temperature, and that'll give us the change in temperature. That, so the amount of heat, oh no, sorry, the amount of hot air that the heater's still producing as hot air, even though it's running the tags and being, well, you're sucking in the hot air again from the cooling tags. But basically, just to see what kind of output we're still getting, and using the thermistor, or thermometer, or thermocouple probe in the water tank, which is about 13 litres of water. So we'll do, you know, set it, take a temperature, let it run for five minutes, and then take another temperature, and then that'll give us the temperature change in the five minutes. And that'll let us see how much energy is going through the tags and into the hot water. I would really, really like if I had, like, super accurate scales, and I could sit the diesel on the scales and measure exactly how much um, weight of diesel it burns in the given time. But for just now, we will just take the pulse rate of the pump as the actual input input fuel, and we'll go with that. And it'll be close enough for what we're doing just now. It'll be close enough. So I'm going to turn all the sensors on. I'm going to fire it up, and I'll bring you back when she's running at full power, and we'll start taking some measurements. So just at the moment, while the coolant's extra cold, where the tags are outputting 3.96 amps and the heater's consuming 3.8. So at the moment it is producing slightly more power than it's consuming and charging the battery. Just thought I would throw that out there while it was uh, doing its thing, because the coolant started at 3 degrees today, because it was uh, pretty chilly in here. So there's, it's hitting 4 amps. Yay, we actually got 4 amps. And there's 3.4, 3.7 at 3.7 odds, so the current's still going up because the coolant's really cold at the moment. In fact, the coolant is T1, 8.7 degrees for coolant temperature, and the output air temperature is 104 degrees. So output air temperature is 104 degrees. I'll write that down because I will forget. So 104 degrees, 104 degrees. And the ambient temperature is a lot less. I'll let that come down to ambient. Where is my anemometer? Right, the input speed and output speed should be the same. Seven meters per second, or 7.1. Let's put down 7.1. And we have an average temperature in here at the moment of 9.8 degrees. 9.8 degrees. Right, that's the wind, that's the wind speed temperature calculated. So, and the timer. And let's take a coolant temperature of, hang on, let's give us five, five minutes, please. Hi, can I have an alarm, please? Right, five minutes, starting now. 14.4 degrees. Four degrees. Right, I think we've got enough maths now, we can shut it down. Once that's shut down, we shall go to the whiteboard and we'll do some calculations. Come on you, shut down in the background. Right, it's still hot, never mind. I am only confident in the one thing that my 
maths are correct, but my readings are probably not correct. They're pretty close. So let's start with the fuel. The controller is reporting an input of 5.5 hertz, and it's a 22 mil pump, so that's 22 milliliters per thousand strokes, basically 0 0.022 milliliters per stroke of the pump. So 5.5 times 2.2 gets you 7.26, and then times that by 60, and then you end up with 435 milliliters an hour at full power. 435 milliliters is 370 grams of diesel, and in the 370 grams of diesel is 16.8 megajoules. 16.8 megajoules is 4.7 kilowatt hours. So we are burning five-ish kilowatt hours of diesel. That's burning. That's just what's being consumed entirely. This also might be incorrect. It might be using more fuel. It might be using less fuel. Because, as I said before. I'd really like an accurate scale to be able to weigh, weigh I was going to say measure, which is weigh and measure the weight of the diesel to see exactly how much we used. And the other one is the water. I'm not a super um, confident that my volume's correct. It's a 12 litre tank, but plus all the piping and the other bits, so I've rounded it up to 13 litres. And this is an easy one to calculate. You just take a start temperature, an end temperature, and a time, and I worked out. Uh, we are heating the water up by 1.8 kilowatt hours. So that's how much energy is going out of the fuel, through the heater, through the tags, and then is being, you know, put back into the water. Uh, so yeah, so that's 1.8, which seems, it seems a lot. But then again, maybe it's not, maybe it's not a lot. And the other one is calculating the air, the heated air, and this is probably where it's the most wrong. Because, uh, well, actually, it was so wrong the first time, I said to run it twice. But basically, I worked out that ambient air in here is 9.8 degrees, and the first time I ran it, I must have, like, held the probe and touched the metal of the casing, because I got 104 degrees, which gave me a full output of 4.3 kilowatts, but 4.3 plus the 1.8 was more than the diesel we'd consumed, so I knew that was pretty wrong to start with. So I ran it again, and I held the probe in a better place and got an 80 degrees air output temperature, which seems more reasonable. And we're measuring the velocity of the air and using an online calculator to work out how much weight of air that is for that given speed and the duct size. And it worked out something like we're pushing through 164 kilograms of air in an hour. Uh, and that works out once you do the maths of those bits, uh, we're heating, that's the first one I got, that was 4.3 kilowatts, which seemed wrong. So the second round, second one was I got 3.2 kilowatts of heated air, which seems more reasonable, that you could add your 3.2 and your 1.8 together and that would get you 5, and that gets you near the 5 of this. But that's not taking into account all of the wasted heat that's gone out of the exhaust, and it's still there, it's still wasting heat, they're still going out of the exhaust. So somewhere in this uh, is um, very wrong. So if anyone has any suggestions on how to improve my uh, accuracy, or even better, if there's a better experiment that I can run to calculate the heated air output. The heated water is not so bad. I mean, I could drain the system and then refill it and know exactly how much water's in it. I might do that, but not just now. How to calculate the heated air output, that's probably the biggest bit. This one, the fuel, we just know we need a decent scale so we can weigh the fuel when it starts and weigh it when it ends and we'll know exactly how much we've burnt in the heater. And I'll look into that, seeing about getting a, a good, fairly reasonably accurate scale. But I really want to see if I can do the heated air better. That's going to be our, our challenge. So please uh, leave comments on how to do that, how to achieve that. If you know how to do that and achieve that, it would really, really help me. And uh, thanks for joining me in my um, bit of uh, sideline uh, measuring and testing phase. Uh, as always, thanks for watching.